hello everyone i'm going to show you how i made this tote chubby bag <laughs> you're going to need some fabric um if you have a fake leather you can use that for the handle or you could use the same fabric for the handle so you're going to need two different fabrics some scissors some fleece batting and yeah that's about it really so i've got my pins here um i've got my lining fabric two of them i will tell you the measurements in a minute and i've got my main fabric which will be the outer fabric i also have a fleece batting already ironed on the main fabric and that's what the fleece batting looks like i just ironed that on and now we're going to get the main fabrics put them right sides together like so and the measurement for this um, fabrics, they all measure the same. It's 15 by 18 inch. So it's 18, 18 inch wide and then 15 inch tall. Now what I'm going to do is measure 3 inches at the bottom of the corners. 3 inches up and then 3 inches from the side. Just watch what I'm doing like a three by three inch um, square so that's what i'm doing at the bottom because we're going to cut that out so i'll do the same for the other side and what i'm doing here is just to give it give the back bag the boxy bottom so that's what it looks like three inches in and then three inches down that way i'm going to cut that out here like that so it gives the bag like a boxy bottom and you will see that um at the end of the video when we finish sewing i will do the same for the lining now i'm just going to pin fab the fabrics right sides facing each other so we're going to pin the sides and then we'll pin the bottom but we leave where we cut the square out, we leave it open for now. And also, um, for the lining, we're going to leave a gap at the very bottom. And I'll just show you that in a second. So we're going to pin them, but leave a gap at the bottom. Leave a gap in the middle. And make sure you leave enough gap at least like five inches so because we're going to use that gap to turn the or the bag um the right side out at the end so just leave enough gap for your hand to go through and then pull out the fabric so here we are and that's the gap leave enough gap about five inch and then sew the rest and then sew the sides as well so we do that for the main fabric as well but for the main fabric you sew everything you don't need to leave a gap the only gap you leave is the squares at the side so there you are i've sewn my fabrics and little madam is just showing her parents and then that's the gap at the bottom of the lining fabric now we're going to join up the squares so just watch what i'm doing please you join it up and then just open up that ex excess fabric so we can lay flat pin it together because we'll be sewing that together that way for both fabric Just make sure it's all lined well. And also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, sh if you like, <laughs> share with your friends and family. And yeah, click the notification um, bell because I'll be posting videos 
every week i post at least one video every week so please do watch out for that so i'm just pinning the main fabric as well like so i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and sew that now for the undo um i should have shown you this in the beginning sorry um so i've got a thick fab um, leather and what i did i cut 16 inch long and then four inch wide so i didn't um i just sewed the lengthwise so it's 16 inch long and four inch wide and what i did was fold it backwards so the right sides facing each other and then sew it lengthwise now i'm going to turn it the right side out once you finish sewing it will measure about two inch wide and 16 inch long so i've ironed my fake leather you can use the same fabric for your handle it's up to you if you don't have the fake leather you can use um the same fabric now i'm going to attach the handle what i'm going to do is just join all the seams together we're trying to find the middle point of the bag so the all the side seams together and then fold the middle point and you just give it a notch so you know where the middle point is i will do that for the other side as well so all the seams together the side seams together and then give it a notch at the front there you go and that's the middle point and from the middle point you're going to measure three inch on each side just watch what i'm doing so from the middle point you measure three inch and that's where you're going to attach your strap or your handle so you just attach it and the other side as well we'll do the same measure three inch from the middle point and then attach attach the strap like that and it looks like this and then we'll do that for the other side as well measure three inch from the middle point and then attach them and what you're going to do is sew the handles um to the bag just to give it stitch just to keep it in place like that just stitch it a little bit just to keep it in place and now we're going to get the lining and put it in the bag you turn the line in the right side out don't forget to turn it right side out and then the main fabric will still be the wrong side so when you put the lining in the bag it will be right sides facing each other so the right side of the lining will be facing the right side of the main fabric now we're going to attach the lining to the bag make sure the seams at the side are matching each other the lining seam and the main fabric seam are matching each other so um the bag is nice and neat when you finish sewing so we start from the seams and just pin it down and then do the other side first so you do one side of the seam and the other side you do those two sides first before you attach the rest of the fabric to each other now we are attaching the other um, parts of the fabric just make sure it's nice and neat and there's no folding if you sew it properly with the right um, seam allowance then it should you shouldn't have any problem with this part so we're going to sew the edges in a minute just take your time with this part because you don't want it all squashed up by the way i'm not an ex um, expert like i'm self-taught um sewist should i say 
so if i made any mistakes just do let me know i'm happy to learn as well so we're going to sew round the edge and i've done that I'm sewing around the edge now we're going to turn the bag the right side out from the opening in the lining so you see what I mean by leaving enough gap to be able to turn the bag so at least five to six inch gap will do so there you go and just have it just spread it out properly as you can see the bag is taking shape at all it's already taking shape to be honest we just need to do some finishing touches now like i was saying if you have any suggestions if you have any ideas if there's anything i've done wrong in the video any corrections i'm happy to hear it in the comment section below um, I'm still learning how to sew, so we're all learning. Um, so now I'm going to roll in the lining, like with my fingers like this, so we could the lining will stay in the bag because that's where you want it. You don't want it sticking out. I was gonna pin it down, but then I realized that if I take it to the sewing machine, I'll just use my fingers. To roll it in and then sew as I go along so we're going to top stitch um, the bag so we're going to do top stitch all the way around like so just make sure you're rolling the fabric in with your finger so that the lining stays in and it's not poking at so you just keep going roll it in and so and there we have it And the bag is nearly done all we have to do is close up the opening at the bottom of the bag and I'm just going to use the blind stitching met method where you sew it but it, it doesn't show so it just matches up with what you've already sewn I'm not showing in this video I didn't know I was out of um, shot sorry guys but there's plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to make um, blind stitch and it's quite easy to do so do check out um, a video on blind stitch if you don't if you're not already used to it or you don't know about it um, and that's the end result I actually enjoyed making these bags I made two so far I'll be making more I've even cut out some fabrics to make more so definitely try it guys um, add your own touches to it you can add some beads to it you can add some diamond tees to it do whatever you please you can even make a fabric flower and then add it to it that's what you call creativity and that's the bottom of the bag and you see that boxy bottom and that's what we we're trying to achieve when we started anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and share take care